Look. Oh, Hank is shaving right now. Call an ambulance, I'm gonna do some stuff to him. Come on! I'm so sick of these sucky computers. Ah! One more step in your next. Detective Diaz, how's your apology to Officer Deepmore coming? I've been working on a letter to send him. Yes, I saw a draft of it on your desk. What'd you think? It was so horrifying I had to destroy the whole pad. <laughs> Just go downstairs and apologize. Fine, I'll say I'm sorry. No, be sincere, like this. I'm sorry. 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 Good, that's the one. Do you remember Rosa's reaction last time the printer jammed? I'll pay for that. Maybe you went up the wall, like this. Ah! Oh. Never mind. It's not possible. Sure. Damn, Rosa! How did you do that? I have a dark past. Okay, Stella. All right. No, 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 no problem. Okay. All right. Bye. Damn! Our babysitter's busy the night of Boyle's wedding. She's gonna be in her high school talent show, which she's gonna lose unless her talent is leaving potato chip crumbs all over Terry's couch. Wait, Boyle set a date already? Yeah, he gave out Save the Dates yesterday. He didn't give you one? I think he's been avoiding me. Hey. Oh, I hate pizza. He didn't invite me to his wedding and he's scared like a little bitch. Well, maybe Vivian was uncomfortable with you coming. Look, boy, I was in love with you until a few weeks ago. Oh, don't be angry. I'm not angry. I think it's funny. <laughs> Officer Deepmore. I came down here to say I'm sorry. Oh, good. Go ahead. No, that was it. I did it. I said I'm sorry. Hey, I said it again. Now I got one in the bank so I can do whatever I want to you. What are you even sorry for? Come on, man. I said the words. I paused afterwards. I even averted my gaze to make you feel like the alpha. Yeah, but you didn't mean it. I'd like you to apologize like you mean it. Fine. I'm sorry you screwed up my case. I'm sorry you're a terrible cop. I'm sorry for your goat face and your rodent brain and your weird goose body. I meant all of that. I hope you feel better. Watching you try to open that door and fail again and again and again and again was inspiring. I was trying to teach you a lesson and instead, you taught me a lesson. Right, what lesson is that? There is nothing the human spirit cannot overcome. So Rosa Diaz, you are not quitting. You are gonna open that door because you are a badass and you don't need help from anyone! Yeah, I'm Rosa Diaz. <sighs> you can do this, Rosa. <sighs> She's doing it. my birthday. I hate birthdays. If you wish me a happy birthday, I will punch you. You're a funny little bird, Diaz. Happy birthday. Oh. Detective Diaz, I gather that once again, things did not go well with Officer Deepmore. All due respect, sir, it's how I was trained. You mess up, you get made fun of. It's like a scientist zapping a rat when he messes up in the maze. Oh, I get it. When I was a young officer, I was that rat and got zapped. And all I wanted was to be captain and throw some lightning bolts. And for Palpatine. I do not know who that is. But a real leader doesn't zap people when they mess up. They teach them how to fix the problem. I think you're a leader. So act like one. I'll try. I'm sorry. Please, Diaz. No need to make a scene. And that is why Christy and the Snobs is the best babysitter's club book ever. Hey, we should go fly fishing sometime. That's never gonna happen. We need to sober you up and get you back out there. Coffee and carbs usually work, so here's what we're gonna do. Ow! Rosa! What about the carbs? That was a misdirection. Carbs never work. Slapping's the only way. Oh, I think it worked. And I just wanna say, 
What makes Christy and the Snob so good is the Snob. Their names are Tiffany and Shannon, and they laugh at UW, or Portable Ultrasonic Weapon. It emits a focused beam of sound which can disorient and even incapacitate a perp. So it shoots sound? Mm -hmm. Is this a trigger? Yes, but you want to be careful with that. Ah, ah. Thought it would be louder. It's highly directional. If we were pointed at you, you'd be in incredible pain right now. Why is this happening? I can taste my thoughts! Enough, Diaz. Oh, oh my god. Oh. 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 Pretty cool. You're testifying in an aggravated assault case tomorrow. The DA is worried about how you present yourself on the stand. Why? I'm fine on the stand. Look, I'll make this real simple so even these dum-dums can understand. Man did crime. I'm sorry, can you make her stop doing that weird thing with her face? Crime? And when this is over, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna break those little fingers. Miss Diaz, please stop threatening the stenographer. We don't want anyone getting alcohol poisoning, so if you throw up, you're disqualified. I never throw up. I just want my stomach to deal with it. My body is terrified of me. Okay. It's, uh, quaint. It's whack, and you know it. Their number one crime is tricycle theft. There's a bakery attached to the precinct. Come on, Santiago. You never would have taken that job, so why'd you even care that they offered it to me? I can't help it. I'm competitive. I have seven brothers, and I was the only girl. I always had to fight for a place at the table. Well, you're not the only girl at the table anymore. We work in a police force full of dudes. We got to have each other's backs, OK? You saying you have my back? Yeah, I got your back. Don't smile. I'm still mad at you. I thought we were having a moment. Moment's over. Shut up. Hey, Demore. I'm sorry for making fun of you in front of everybody. And also for making fun of you behind your back. Didn't know you did that, but thank you for the apology. I'm not done. Also, I'm sorry for making fun of you during my book club. Those people don't even know you. That was uncool. Also, I'm sorry I didn't. It's OK. I get it. No. Also, I'm sorry that I didn't take the time to show you how to fix your mistake. Come on. We can go over it upstairs. Thanks. That'd be great. Oh, one more sorry. You're about to see a drawing I did of you in the elevator. Just remember, I was really pissed at you at the time. I'm in a cabin in the middle of nowhere. Inside, it's just me and that stupid, slimy defense attorney. And I'm beating the hell out of him. I break a dining room table over his head. Then I rip off his arm and shove it where the sun don't shine. Then I reach down his throat and shake his hand. Yeah, OK. I'm going to go ahead and schedule you for a psyche valve. 